Hey guys, welcome to another Ask Rusty. It's been a while. Uh, I have been, look, it's been one of those periods for me where uh, <laughs> I haven't really wanted to do anything. I've been working my butt off. Um, so I do apologise. Here's another Ask Rusty. Today, you guys have been requesting that I do this. Are you actually a boyfriend? Are you actually boyfriend material? So here we go. We're going to do it right here on uh, live on uh, YouTube. So let's go. Choose an ideal first date. So you, we've got the options of a stroll through the park, an evening at the movies, a few drinks at a local bar, or a simple coffee date. So I'll tell you what's wrong with some of these options. First, a stroll through the park. The part's pretty short, so you're going to be walking back and forth, so I definitely wouldn't want to do that one. An evening at the movies, well, that might be a good second date, but not as a first date. Just due to the fact that the movie goes for two hours. Now, if you're sitting there for two hours watching the movie and you're not actually uh, learning about the person, eh, then again, it could be a good one. You never know. It could be one of those ones where the person doesn't like scary movies, so you get to cuddle them and get to um, help them through it. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure about that one. A simple coffee date. Now, that's simple. It's easy. It's really not that long, maybe. And maybe then you might go for the stroll in the park as well. So, who knows? That, that could be a good one to choose. Um, I, I wouldn't say no to that one. I would... If someone asked me for a coffee date, I wouldn't say no, but I wouldn't think it was a date either. I would think it's just going to get coffee. Um, now, <laughs> the one that gets me in trouble, <laughs> a, few, <laughs> a few drinks at the local bar. I work in hospitality, and as my some of my co-workers would say, once I start drinking, I'm pretty cool. Um, well, maybe not cool, but I'm pretty much, yes, someone who will uh, let things fly off the tongue. Um, so maybe not for the first date. And because I don't drink that much, I wouldn't say it was really my kind of scene. So out of all of that, I'm going to choose that one. A simple coffee date. Okay, pick an outfit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to laugh at this question. Because... I am not fashionable. I am anything but fashionable. I do not have fashion sense. Um, as you can most probably tell, I'm just basically wearing a really long sleeve shirt that, um, yeah, I'm not fashionable. So let's see. This is <laughs> I do like the one in the bottom left. Um, I always... Yeah, I like a man in a suit. Um, again, the one top right looks very comfy. I'm not quite sure about the checker shirt though, so... Um, and it's very hard to choose because you're also looking at the faces and everything. So, I'm going to try to just look at the outfits. I'm going to choose the top left. I don't know. but I, I, I'm often wearing a, a long sleeve shirt open with one of these tops underneath so yeah we'll do that okay what type what kind of sex do you like rough and wild slow and steady sticky and wet <laughs> dark and quiet well i don't like dark and quiet that's one thing i don't like um slow and steady good they always finish i guess um rough and wild i do i don't I see, I, I like it when it's slow and steady, but then gets rough and wild. And then finishes passionately. So it's either of those two. Sticky and what? Sticky and sweet? And unless you've got chocolate? Yeah. Nah, the strawberries? I've never had that, so there you go for anyone that wants to date me. Give me some chocolate and strawberries in bed while we have sex. I don't think so. Um, I'm going to go <laughs> rough and wild. <laughs> Which problematic celebrity do you most, do you like most? Well, I never thought Katy Perry was problematic. Um, Mel Gibson is. Who, is, who the heck is Clinton Hayes? Gorgeous. 
but don't know him. And Elijah Banks. Now I heard Elijah Banks, I reckon. Or was that Tyra Banks? Tyra Banks isn't problematic. problematic. Um, look, only because I know that this person has been problematic, I'm going to go with Mel Gibson. I didn't think Katy Perry was problem problematic, if I could ever pronounce it correctly. What is your stance on cuddling? I'm always a big spoon. I'm always a little spoon. I do like being a little spoon. Um, <laughs> I always cuddle after being intimate. I don't like to cuddle. Mm. I like to be the little spoon. <laughs> this is actually really embarrassing, I have to say. You're learning a lot about me right now. Uh, how do you make up with your significant other after an argument? That one's easy for me. I buy them something special, be it flowers, be it chocolate, or even being buy, buy them an apology, even if you're in the wrong. That's the thing. Even if you're in the wrong, you have to make sure that you put you just fix it. The last thing you want is to screw it up. Choose a still from Taylor Swift's. Only because it looks like she's giving head. <laughs> okay, so. You <laughs> are you actually boyfriend material? You are. You got kind of. You got a good head on your shoulders. And people love to be around you. But you're also extremely busy and that's okay if you're ever truly gonna going to be a boyfriend material you'll have to figure out how to make time for the things that means the most to you do you know something that is a hundred percent correct i am most likely not the best boyfriend and i am most probably more dedicated to my work than anything else i'm i'm always on this thing that's the problem i'm always on my mobile phone so there you go, guys. Um, I would love to take another quiz. Tell me what quiz to take. Or you can Facebook me at... Uh, sorry, you can Twitter me at Russell Harrow. You can Facebook me. Uh, that one is... Uh, let me find out. It's facebook.com forward slash... You can Facebook me as well at Ask Rusty Vlog V-L-O-G. Um, or you can Instagram me at Russell Harrower, that's my Instagram name, and we will see you here soon. Please give me some uh, ideas of what you would like me to talk about, and also, don't forget, you can, now, I don't normally, uh, periscope, now, okay, that's another subject for another day, is what apps do I have on my phone, we'll talk about that later, uh, but... There's a brand new app that I'm uh, loving at the moment. It's called Periscope. Uh, you can see it on your screen right now. No one you are following is live. Mm. So come on, guys. Get on Periscope. It's it's a great... Um, you just saw Sanger Poker. I do like Zanga Poker. Um, let's just let's show you show you what Zanga Poker... Uh, not Zanga Poker. Let's, let's show you what Periscope actually does. So... Basically, when I go in, I can broadcast live. I say what I'm doing, uh, filming a YouTube. Video. Yes, a friend did just text me. Filming a YouTube video. There we go. And we can do that there. So... Double tap. There we go. We're on Periscope right now, as you can see on my screen, I think. Um, so, uh, basically, what Periscope does is it allows you to film, li uh, broadcast live to the world. 